We're out here at the University of uh, Wisconsin at Holton Hall in uh, Milwaukee, and uh, we're setting up for a grouting uh, technique uh, where we're taping the faces of the brick, and then we're going to come back in and surface grout mortar over the top to match the historic profile of what we've got here. If you come in a little bit closer, you'll be able to see the, the profile of the, of the mortar um, and the grouting technique that was used back in the 1980s. The mortar joints were removed using a specialized chisel designed by Spiewike Preservation Consultants. The joints were removed to a depth of two and a half times their width in order to comply with the preservation brief number two, repointing mortar joints in historic masonry buildings. The mortar consisted of sand which was screened to remove all the large particles then combined with cement, lime, and pigment to match the color of the brickwork. Preservation, and we're back here at the Downer Buildings in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we're working on a, a plumber joint uh, brickwork for repointing. Uh, the wall was repointed several days ago, and we have cleaned the wall down with uh, a solution of vinegar and water to take the uh, white film off the face of the brick. Now we're ready to tape the brick down and uh, do the grouting process. Come on over here, I'll show you what the grouting process looks like that they did in the 1980s. Uh, you can see that each brick was taped and then uh, a, a grout was actually placed over the top of the mortar joints, both the bed and head joints. And you can see how that is right there. And then right here is our, our preliminary mock-up that we, we did yesterday to test the uh, color and the, the taping application and the seal. So we did these four joints to see how that was going to actually turn out. So that's it. The Masons had the opportunity to practice taping prior to putting the tape on the wall. head joint was cut out individually using a razor. Loosen some of that up. If, if I find it's a lot easier. The grouting material was applied with stiff, small brushes evenly across the entire surface. I just drop back and get the stuff that is dry. If you let it spread to the joint, it'll dry out the joint. We've now finished the grouting process and uh, you can come in and look at the uh, close-up of what it looks like after we just pulled the tape. We just uh, applied the uh, water to the surface of the wall to prevent the wall from drying too quickly so that the uh, grout cures slowly. And uh, you can pan down the wall here and see everything that we did. And then 
than the original on this side, which is a little lighter because it's not wet. 